Hey, it's Miklas here, and today we're printing a racing drone frame. I chose this design from Tech2C because of its compact size, its many remixes, and easily replaceable arms in case you break one. All of the pieces fit on the i3 Mark II but easily, so you can print a whole new frame in about 3 hours. It's important to pick the right material for maximum strength. A quadcopter arm printed with ABS is breakable by hand. PLA is much better, but when using flyers it shatters quickly. PATG is the winner here. It offers much higher toughness at the same price. I printed the arms separately, because I wanted to use different color for them. Ooh, so pretty! I suggest to print some spare ones right away. The print is really fast and it's handy to have a replacement in the field. The bottom and top piece were printed with clear PETG so that LED lights can shine right through them. There's also the two pieces that hold the arms into place and you'll also need six nylon standoffs that connect the bottom and top piece. The assembly is pretty easy. I used M3 screws with self-locking nuts to hold everything together. First attach the forearms to the bottom plate. Then proceed by screwing in the nylon standoffs. At this stage you'd normally install all the electronics, but I'm just gonna keep going to show you the finished frame. Top plate screws in just like you'd expect. To minimize vibrations going to the camera mount, I use these rubber feet in between the top plate and the camera mount. It can be really tricky to get through the holes. I used a short piece of wire to get grip of the rubber feet and then pull it right through the hole. The camera is then secured with a velcro strip. For the electronics I used Sirius Lipro F3 flight controller, which I got for 18 bucks. For Emax 2300 kW motors for 23 bucks. For BL Heli 20 amp ESCs, which I got for 26 bucks. A mini power hub, which I got for 4 bucks. FR Sky X4R with serial bus for my Taronis Plus for 30 bucks. A 1300 mAh battery with 75C rating, which I got for 22 bucks. And some 5 inch props and M3 metal screws and nuts. And then it was time to solder it all together. A few moments later. And that's it! This is my finished Peon 230. I think it looks great, so let's see if it can actually fly. <laughs> and it flies great! This is my first drone. So I use the auto stabilizing horizon mode for start and the anti-vibration camera mount works great as well. No jello effect that's typical for drone footage. And it wouldn't be a proper test without some crash. Yeah, this was totally intentional. Luckily nothing broke except two props, which is what usually breaks. And I didn't disarm in time, so might be due to that. So overall, I'm really happy how this turned out. And I can't wait to add FPV gear 